157 km of highway, 10 AI-powered machines, human supervisors watching from control rooms. China just achieved the world's first semi-autonomous paving operation, and the implications are massive. The machines made thousands of decisions independently while humans monitored every move. The machines arrived at dawn on the Beijing-Hong Kong-Macau Expressway. Ten autonomous giants, each one equipped with artificial intelligence systems that would make most tech companies jealous. At the center of this robotic army was the SAP 200C-10PA, a machine so advanced it could lay down four lanes of highway at once. Its 19.25M widescreen stretched across the entire width of the expressway, spreading hot asphalt with precision that human workers could never match. The Beijing-Hong Kong-Macau Expressway is known as China's Golden Channel, connecting the economic powerhouses of the North to the manufacturing centers of the South. It's the same highway that created one of the worst traffic jams in human history back in 2015. Over 750 million people were traveling during National Day celebrations when a bottleneck at a toll station turned 50 lanes into just 20. Cars sat motionless for hours, stretching back for miles in what media called Carmageddon. That disaster taught China's leaders something important. Their infrastructure needed to be smarter, faster, and more efficient. The solution came in the form of the most advanced construction project ever attempted. The robot construction crew worked in what engineers call a 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 formation. One lead paver followed by three groups of three rollers each. The SAP 200 C10PA moved forward like a mechanical whale its heated screed melting and spreading asphalt in a perfect 19.25 m wide ribbon. Behind it, six 13-ton double drum rollers pressed the hot asphalt into place. Then came three massive 30-ton rubber wheeled rollers for the final compaction. But here's where it gets really interesting. These machines weren't just following pre-programmed routes. They were making thousands of decisions every second. While human operators monitored their progress from remote control stations, each robot was connected to China's BU satellite system, giving them centimeter-level precision. Think about that for a moment. These machines could place asphalt with the accuracy of a surgeon's scalpel, all while moving at highway construction speeds. The artificial intelligence controlling each machine was constantly analyzing the road surface, adjusting pressure, speed, and positioning in real time. When the lead paver detected a slight variation in the ground beneath it, it automatically adjusted its screed angle. When the rollers sensed that one section needed more compaction, they applied additional pressure. All of this happened with human supervisors monitoring the systems and ready to intervene if needed. The technology behind this project represents years of development by Sani, one of China's largest heavy machinery manufacturers. Their engineers had to solve problems that didn't exist until they tried to remove humans from the construction process. How do you teach a machine to feel when asphalt is properly compacted? How do you program a robot to detect obstacles and avoid them while maintaining perfect formation? The answer came through what San calls fusion self-sensing high-precision positioning. Each machine was equipped with multiple layers of sensors, cameras, and communication systems. Infrared sensors detected heat variations in the asphalt. Pressure sensors monitored compaction levels. GPS systems tracked position to within centimeters. And a low-latency communication network allowed all 10 machines to share information instantly. Safety was the biggest challenge. Construction sites are dangerous places, and removing human operators meant the machines had to be even more careful. Each robot was equipped with electronic fences that created invisible barriers around moving equipment. Emergency stop functions could halt all operations in milliseconds if anything went wrong. Real-time obstacle detection systems used radar and cameras to spot potential hazards before they became problems. The most impressive innovation was what engineers called zero-edge rolling. Traditionally, human operators struggle to compact asphalt right up to the edge of the road. They often leave gaps or damage the curb stones. The robotic rollers solved this by using advanced tracking algorithms that could follow the exact edge of the pavement with millimeter precision. No gaps, no damage, perfect edges every time. The economic implications are significant. Traditional highway construction requires dozens of workers, multiple shifts, and constant supervision. This semi-autonomous approach reduced labor requirements while improving quality and precision. The machines worked with greater consistency than human operators with fewer breaks and more predictable results. Construction time was reduced, though the full scale of time savings is still being analyzed as the technology develops. But the real game-changer isn't just the technology. It's what this represents for the future of infrastructure. China isn't planning to stop at highways. They're developing more advanced autonomous systems for bridge construction, tunnel boring, and even building assembly. The goal is to create a nationwide network of intelligent infrastructure that can operate with minimal human intervention. Other countries are taking notice. 
The European Union has announced plans to study China's autonomous construction methods. Japan is developing its own robotic construction systems for the 2030 World Expo. Even the United States, despite trade tensions, is quietly researching similar technologies through the Department of Transportation. The timing couldn't be more critical. The world needs to build more infrastructure faster than ever before. Climate change is demanding new types of construction that can withstand extreme weather. Aging populations in developed countries mean fewer workers available for dangerous construction jobs. Autonomous construction solves all of these problems at once. This project also reveals something important about China's approach to technological development. While Western companies often focus on software and digital innovations, China is applying artificial intelligence to physical infrastructure. They're not just building smart cities, they're building cities with smart construction methods. The data from this project is already being analyzed for the next phase. Chinese engineers are studying every aspect of the robotic construction process, looking for ways to improve efficiency and expand capabilities. They're developing new algorithms that could allow even more complex construction projects to be completed autonomously. The international construction industry is watching closely. Major equipment manufacturers from Germany, Japan, and the United States are scrambling to develop their own autonomous construction technologies. The race is on to see who can bring robotic construction to the global market first. But China has a significant advantage. They have the political will to implement these technologies at scale, massive infrastructure projects to test them on, and a manufacturing base that can produce the machines. While other countries debate regulations and safety standards, China is building the future. The success of this project opens up possibilities that seemed impossible just a few years ago. Imagine highways that can repair themselves when sensors detect damage. Bridge construction in remote areas where no human workers can safely operate. Disaster response construction that can build emergency infrastructure without putting rescue workers at risk. The implications extend beyond construction. If machines can build highways autonomously, what else can they do? Autonomous farming is already transforming agriculture. Robotic manufacturing has revolutionized production. Now autonomous construction is about to transform how we build the physical world around us. Critics worry about job displacement. Traditional construction workers might find themselves replaced by machines, but supporters argue that autonomous construction will create new types of jobs. Someone needs to design these systems, maintain them, and supervise their operations. The jobs of the future will require different skills, but they will still require human intelligence and creativity. The 157 km of highway completed by these 10 robots represents more than just a construction achievement. It's proof that the age of autonomous infrastructure has begun. The machines that built this highway are just the beginning. More advanced versions are already being developed with capabilities that would seem like magic to previous generations. China's investment in autonomous construction technology is part of a larger strategy to dominate the infrastructure industries of the future. They're not just building roads and bridges. They're building the technological foundation for the next century of human development. The project's success has already attracted attention from developing countries looking to rapidly expand their infrastructure. If autonomous construction can deliver better quality at lower costs, it could accelerate development projects across Africa, Asia, and Latin America. The technology that built 157 km of Chinese highway could soon be building roads, bridges, and buildings around the world. But the most significant impact might be what this means for human civilization itself. For thousands of years, building infrastructure required massive human effort. Pyramids, roads, bridges, and cities all demanded countless hours of human labor. Now, for the first time in history, we have machines that can build infrastructure without human workers. The age of autonomous construction has arrived, and China just showed the world what's possible. The 10 machines that completed this project have already moved on to their next assignment. They're currently working on another section of highway, continuing to perfect their autonomous construction methods. Each project generates more data, improves their algorithms, and brings us closer to a world where infrastructure builds itself. If China can build highways without humans, what happens when they build them for power? There's another project carving straight through the Himalayas that's making the U.S. very nervous.